Here we have another question from the Pure Maths 1 past paper. Before we do this question, let us quickly review some key facts. So recall, if y equals x to the n, which is the equation of a curve, then the gradient of the curve, which is dy by dx, equals n times x to the n minus 1 and we're going to use this principle to find dy by dx so a curve has equation with y equals x cubed plus x squared plus kx where k is a constant write down an expression for dy by dx the curve has a minimum at the point where x equals 1 find the value of k and finally find the x coordinate of the maximum point in the curve so we already know the x coordinate for the minimum point so we just need to find the other one for the maximum point on the curve so let us find it dy by dx so the equation of the curve is y equals x cubed plus x squared plus kx so dy by dx equals 3x squared plus 2x plus k so at this turning point, at the minimum turning point here dy by dx equals 0 so you need to recall that at turning point dy by dx equals 0 so I'm gonna write here at turning point I'm gonna use TP for turning point, at turning point dy by dx equals 0 therefore 3x squared plus 2x plus k equals 0 at this point here x is equal to 1 so what we're gonna do is to substitute the value of x into this equation to get k so at x equals 1 we're gonna have 3 times 1 all squared plus 2 times 1 plus k that equals 0 upon simplifying the left hand side we get 5 plus k which means that k equals minus 5 so we can write the expression for dy by dx now which is going to be 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 because k is minus 5 so we want the other x coordinate for of the maximum point in the curve we know one x coordinate already when it, where it's mean so we need to find the other so what we're going to do is to solve this equation here so at this turning point at maximum dy by dx equals 0 as well so let's just write at max dy by dx equals 0 therefore we're gonna have 3x squared plus 2x and we know k as 5 now that equals 0 and all we have to do is to solve this equation so it's a quadratic equation so we're gonna see if we can factorize this so let's see if we can factorize that so yes it can be factorized so 3x times x here would give us 3x squared plus 5 minus 1 there yes so we have two things here multiplied together equals 0 which means that 3x plus 5 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0 
and we already know that x equals 1 we had we were given this so we know the solution for that so we just need to find this value for x so 3x plus 5 no 3x would equal to minus 5 there which means that x equals minus 5 over 3 or minus 1.67 so we have found the value of x for which they want us to, to find so if you notice this value at x equals 1 it would be the solution for this so x here would equal to 1 and at this point it is minimum but at this point here minus 5 over 3 is max so we have answered the question so dy by dx here we have found dy by dx which is this value and we have also found the value of k which is minus 5 and also we have found the other value the x coordinate there which is minus 5 over 3 or minus 1.67 to two decimal places